Until now, it was necessary to understand a little bit of code in order to build your double opt-in campaign. So you needed to insert a tracking code on your website and on each website which needs to be tracked in order to create the double opt-in campaign. I will show you in this tutorial how to do this without the need of code. You need two things for this tutorial. The first thing is Modic. Of course, you need a working instance of Modic, which is able to send emails with your cron jobs and so on. So in order to do that, follow my tutorials, how to install Modic and how to install the necessary cron jobs in order to get it working. Or you use the link in the description to Hartmut IO Managed Modic. There you get your working Modic in a second. So that's the first thing. And the second thing you need is take a cup of tea or coffee or a glass of water or an empty glass of water in order to do this for the next 15 minutes. First of all, we need to build a form. So the form where people are able to sign up to your newsletter or whatever, then you need a double opt-in email to confirm the email address. Then you need two websites. These are optional, like the confirmation website. Thank you for signing up. Now you need to go to your inbox. And the second landing page would be, thanks for validating your email. It works and it's great. And then, we're going to build the campaign. And in order to build the campaign, we need a custom field, which we're going to build and which we're going to use inside the campaign. And then we're going to test it. And in the end, it's going to be great. So first things first, let's build our form. So let's move to components, forms, and let's build the form. Um, we're going to build a campaign form because this starts a campaign. So we're going to call it DOI1. In this case, we remain at form or we can redirect to a website. So I'm going to redirect it to the website in a second. Now we're adding some fields. First of all, text because the first name is text. So I will put here label. I don't want to show the label. So I just put the placeholder in first name this is my placeholder contact field is first name now we have the first name and then of course we need the email so we're going to make one field called email placeholder is email contact field is email and here it's english okay so now we have this we can change the button from submit to whatever and we're going to save this save and close that's fine so the second thing is optional, would be a landing page where people get redirected after signing up. People are very simple. It's basic marketing psychology to show somebody what's your next step. So in order to do that, we have in Managed Modic some templates. We're going to landing pages and there I would just use verify your email address. I built this page here already. If you are in Managed Modic, you have these pages there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I oh, yeah, is German, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So it just says, okay, please verify your email, open your inbox, open the mail we just sent you and click on the verification link. If you do that, you raise the percentage of people who are walking through your double opt-in process. So it's very smart to do that. And in order to do this, you need a landing page. You can build this in WordPress or wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Or use the ones we have in Managed Modic. So take this, copy the page URL and put it into your form as the redirect um, URL. So let's move back to our forms and back into it and edit. And here I'm changing this to redirect URL and put the redirect URL inside. So now everybody who's signing up gets redirected afterwards to the three steps they need to do. So this is the number one. The number two, as soon as somebody clicks the link for the verification of the email, you need to send them somewhere. So you don't want to send them just to some random page like Google. You want to send them somewhere where they can take the next step. So in order to do that, I will build another page, which is called That Worked. So let's take a look at it. It's very simple for this purpose. I'll just copy the link here. It's just That Worked. You get your first email a few minutes into your inbox. Talk soon, Team Hartmut IO. You can build some buttons in there to follow the user journey to the next step and so on. But 
you should tell somebody if the verification worked or not. So let's take this link, copy it. And now we're going to build our verification email. So let's go to channels and emails and let's make another email, a new template email. And I'm just choosing the truly personal, super simple template. And I will call this, please verify your email address. And this is called DOI1, so I can find it. And now I'm switching to Builder. Just change all this here. I would delete the unsubscribe text because I don't need the unsubscribe text, of course, because people didn't subscribe yet. So it wouldn't make sense to show them an unsubscribe link. This link. So, and here we're going to put in the link. So I would just say verify email now. So, and here I would just insert a link to the landing page. And now the funny stuff starts. So I can just send people there, but then I can't do anything with it. So I need to use URL parameters and the parameters are going to be inserted like so. Just put the other forward slash there and after the forward slash question mark and then my parameter. So it doesn't matter what you are writing here. So you can just say DOI equals yes, for example. So you need the parameter and you need the value of the parameter. So these two things you need to insert here. You can just copy that and use this. As soon as you have this link inserted, you can track with Mautic exactly if somebody went to this link with this parameter attached. So it's very unlikely that anybody has the parameter attached if they are not clicking, clicking the verification email. So it's very good to, to build the double opt-in process without the need of a tracking system, which also means if somebody turns off tracking or suppresses tracking, you still can see if the person clicked this link, which is amazing. Let's close that and save and close. So the last thing we need in order to build our campaign is a custom field. So let's move to our custom fields, click the cogwheel on the top right side and move to custom fields. Let's click on new, call it UI, and it's going to be Boolean. A Boolean is a switch or a toggle between on and off or one and zero or yes and no. And in this case, we have yes and no. You can change this to your liking. And the default value is no, of course, because people didn't opt in yet. We're going to save this. And now we have everything we need in order to build our campaign. So let's switch to campaigns and build another double opt-in campaign. So let's call it DOI1 as the rest and launch the campaign builder. And there as a campaign trigger, we have our form, which is called DOI1. So we are adding this. So everybody who sends the form gets inserted into this campaign. And the first thing we do is we check for a condition. So let's select this and say contact field value. And there we say, okay, check double opt in. And here we have the UI equals yes. Add. So we are immediately checking if the double opt in field has the value yes. If it has the value yes, you can just end the campaign. So let's say change campaigns because then the person is already double opt in. So you can do whatever you want, put them into the next campaign or whatever. So remove the contact from this campaign and I will call this end campaign. So this campaign just ends here and then you know, okay, great, this person double opted in. Otherwise I would send them an email. So send email UI, I will find the email and send it immediately, of course. So send the double opt-in email if the person is not double opted in yet. And after I send the email, I need to check, did the person click? So I check for a decision and I will just say clicks email. And inside the clicks email, clicks the UI link. And here I can add a value and the value is now this 
with the protocol. And I have here my parameter in the end. This is very important. If you don't check for the parameter, it would just record everybody who comes to this page. And probably it's possible for people to find the page somewhere else. Then they would have clicked this link in your modic and it would be false. So let's add this. Okay, now we can track if a person clicks the double opt-in link with our parameters. And if the person clicks the link, we're going to make an action which is called update contact because now we need to update the contact in order to tell Modic, yes, the person did the DOI. So let's change this to yes and add. So now it changes the person to yes and then I can jump to event, jump to end campaign. After the update, it jumps to my yes branch from the beginning, which would be end the campaign or start another campaign or send another email or whatever, what people should just get if they signed up already and if they validated their email. And if not, I would just delete the contact. Of course, I don't delete the contact immediately or something. I will delete the contact within seven days. So I give Modic the possibility to track for the next seven days if the contact clicked the link. If not, just delete it. So now we have our ready-made, perfectly working double opt-in campaign. So let's go to save, close the builder, publish the campaign and save and close. So in order to use this campaign, we of course need to insert the form on our website. How to do this, you see that in this next video. See you there. That's very important how to insert Modic forms on your website. Before we can do that, we need to test it. So let's test the thing and let's test the campaign. So let's move on to the components and forms. I didn't embed it yet. If you want to know how to embed your forms, go to this video and embed your forms in your website on your WordPress or wherever. And to test it, we can just open the preview and send ourselves an email, sign up and be finally free. That's great. So it redirects me to the website. The website just tells me, oh, you need to open your mailbox, blah, 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 blah. So it takes a little time to send the email, of course, it, it depends. But in this case, here is the email already. It's from me in order to blah, 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 verify your email. So I will open this in an incognito window because otherwise I can't test this because I'm the administrator of this website in this session that worked. And you see, because it's a modic landing page, it masks the parameters, but it used the parameters and it checked already if I clicked there, which is amazing because a lot of people don't like the parameter stuff in the end, so they don't go there, they copy paste, blah, blah. So let's move and let's take a look at our modic and the contacts. Let's just find a new contact, that's me. I just signed up here and I will see here, the campaign has ended already. So I see here in the details, yes, instead of no, which is great. That means the double opt-in campaign worked. Everything is amazing and it's so super simple because you don't need to insert any code on your website despite the code of your form, which you're going to see in the next video, how to insert forms on your website and how to do it in a great way and how to design amazing forms with Modic. So let's see you there.